Picture me up on your knee. Just tea for two and two, two for, for tea. tea. <laughs> Just me for We're singing and dancing. <laughs> You know, tea parties are hot these days, so Ken Wingard is here to show us how to create the perfect tablescape for this very special occasion. He's enlisted the help of Michelle Bachman, yes, who happens to be an expert on napkin folding, so you're going to show us how to do that. But I Ken will. is going to show us how he did this beautiful tablescape. Uh, he went to a store and got things and glued them together. Yeah, who knew? The, one of the, the important things about teas is that they really need to be formal. That's the sort of specialness of it. They really need, you need to sort of up your game, but it doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money. So I went out last night, I went to Out of the Closet, which is a thrift, local thrift store, and I bought everything on the table ah. for $39. There I am. Stop it, oh, under $40. I, I, all the plates awesome. were like $1.50, $2, so things don't have they to don't match. They don't match either. Right, so awesome. you see here, we have a, we have a gold, um, a gold luncheon plate. Luxury we have real. one with like silver. Yeah. Put that on top, and it, it looks fabulous. And you use our glasses that we made. We actually made these, Michelle. With the gold leaf, Jesse gold Jane made yeah. these. Yeah. Those lovely. Yeah, you, oh you, have to, you have to. We have an app now. You can go back and watch our show oh, and a, learn how to do can't all put that. Put it in the microwave anymore. No, right, right. Can't can't put it in the microwave. No, okay. So <laughs> for the true. centerpiece, <laughs> what you really want is something that's going to be special. And this I made. It looks yes. amazing. It's all made from secondhand cups and saucers. I made it this morning. Real flowers. Real flowers. I have a tape of me putting it together. Together. Let's take a look at the tape. I started with just a glass cake stand. I think that was the big purchase. That was like three dollars. <laughs> a, a single water wine glass with a little bit of hot glue on the bottom. Because what I'm doing first is making our sort of two-tiered oh, set. Is that what that is? Right. Yes, isn't that genius? Glass That's cake awesome. plate with a little bit on the top rim, and then you've got your your tiers. To get the third tier on top, I did a glass candlestick, a little shorty. And then what is, I think, was an old sugar bowl with a saucer um, with the missing top. And I did that, that on handles. top. Actually, I think it's a soup bowl. Handles. And I then around the bottom, I did cup on top of a saucer. And every other one, I sort of put on the side. And I stacked a couple of them. So you just basically keep layering. I put a little creamer in the front. And That's voila. That's beautiful. I love it. All it's done. It's really, really pretty. And to put the flowers in, if you can see, I'll cheat it here. It's just a piece of um, foam, foam soaked yeah. in water, and then I just cut the roses short. Great way to use roses that are past their life where they've yeah, gotten a yeah, little right, foggy. Yeah. Right. The other thing I did, yeah, and, um, Michelle, I'm going to ask you to help me out. Yeah. To make these little petty four stands, all I did was take a saucer okay. and a candlestick, and if you put a little bit of hot glue on the top there. Okay. We did this last season to yeah, make large ones, and this is a great way to bring your, your what's traditionally a bread and butter plate up to a whole new then level. Then we'll take it this yeah. way. Yeah, it's easier to get it centered if you if you do it that way. Michelle, do you do you do DIY projects at home? We do. One of our girls just loves it, loves mm -hmm. it, loves it. We actually have a craft room. You do? Whoa! Yeah. So now I'm it's, bitter. So <laughs> <laughs> no, just, I told you not to okay, flip it over. Okay, you're invited. All right, I have a Michelle Bachman room. invitation. Oh, I Isn't love that. There you go. That. I love it, it really makes things I love elegant. That. And then, so for setting the table, you want to do this Come right. You want to use a luncheon size table, luncheon size plate, not a dinner plate, because everything needs to stay but dainty these are, and small. These are both luncheon. They're both right? luncheon. They're I both, stacked okay. it just to add some depth to the table. Yep. Fork on the left, knife on the right, with the blade facing in, yes. and then your teaspoon right after that. Your cup and saucer go to the right of your spoon and knife. Oh, you have to be very particular when you give a tea party. And oh, your yeah. water yes, glass. Just like Downton Abbey. Yeah. Very yeah. Downton yes. Abbey. I don't very have the, the, Abbey. the measuring stick. <laughs> That's right. And your water glass at oh, the tip see. of your knife. We'll take care of that. I think it's what? There's Lovely. a little, a little off there. There, we go. there you go. An inch okay. in. Must be perfect. You want to have your cream and sugar. And many Must people don't perfect. know this. The teapot, the tea should be poured by the host or hostess. Mm -hmm. So the teapot should be placed on the table with the spout actually facing who the hostess is oh. as a signifier of who will be pouring Okay, the tea. I see. All right. And you oh, want so to then start. Then you burn yourself. No, oh, then yes. you have to burn yourself as you, but you know, the English. We suffer, you know. suffer. <laughs> uh, food okay. wise, you want to keep everything very small. So we have these wonderful little bite sized sandwiches. You don't want to have to use a knife. You don't want to have to like bite. Everything should so just pop in. So we should a pancake before yeah. you Before show you come in. Yeah. Or you can make those little pancakes that you made little tiny. Little tiny bellinis. Oh, that's so cute. Perfect. I love combining segments. Because they would taste 
it's great with tea. That'd be great. Yeah, it would be good yeah you could serve them too. Yes. Um, and you want to serve your savory stuff first, and then keep your sweets off to the side, and then move those in once your savory's oh, done. Oh, but life Ooh. is short. Yes. Yes. No, no, you do not. I'm counting those, Michelle. The next right. is napkins, and you took a yes. napkin folding yes. course. I did. Again, I did. I did. Can you I did. You show us how. I did. I absolutely will. I did this. My husband and I were first married. We moved to another city, and I just said I wanted to get to know people, so I did some adult ed classes. This was one. And it lasted for a total of one session. So anyway, you take you take a square napkin. Try. It's better to take one that's crisp, a crisp napkin. So use your iron steamer and get it really nice and crisp. So corner to corner. So just fold it in half. It's a square. Now you're turning it into a triangle. Take each of the corners on either side. Pull that corner up to this one and pull this corner up so that you have like a fold in the middle. Okay. So you got that. It's a square now. Now it's a square. Now we're going to go back to triangle. So it, we went square, triangle, square. Now we're going to go triangle. So tuck it under itself. Got that? Oh, that got tricky. So, that yeah, got tricky. Really? I that know got you're going to All right, I'm with you. you. I'm with this. you. All right. Okay. So you've got this opening here. Okay, so you got your triangle, right? Does right. your base look like got that? Got it, got okay, it. Okay, great. Okay, now what you do yeah, is I got it. I got it. I got it. Now we're going to make like a crown. So fold it around. Right. And you're going to tuck the back into itself. You've got a little shelf back there. Tucky, tucky. Tuck it into itself. Now, this is so cool. Get ready to be amazed. Okay, so here's the front. And pull the two little sides down. Oh. And you've got an eye oh. It is so great. Okay, so but what you do is you set it, you set it facing the diner, and facing it sits right up on the plate. And oh my goodness, kids I love, love it. to have it fancy. This is so fast, you can't believe it. But um, kids love to have it fancy. And no, it, depending on tea party, if it's Christmas, Easter, whatever it is, you can put little things in it. And so I'll put things in like oh. you know candy. Canes Let's put a or cookie. Let's a put a, a scone in Or you just put. A, you're the little one who's treasures, so, yeah, little like put a little treasure in, or like here you've got you know your. Can rose we put a cookie in there? You know you could do something oh, like look that. Look how lovely that is. Rose or uh -oh. sorry, don't want to wreck your you're, gorgeous you're thing. I got a yeah. right, so an invitation. You can wreck whatever well, you want there, to. Okay, so, anyway, well, so there you go. So you've got so you've got your iris just like that. And then I've got a napkin where. Maybe it'll be Battenberg lace up here or oh, something on it. Beautiful. Or like if it's like a kids party, you could have their photo. <gasps> I but like their that. photo up here, and then that way. And that's that, if, you're, if they were monogrammed, little monogram. We and just have to ask. Know Mich that it's for them. That's Michelle. Really we know. have to that's ask you to come sweet. back to do more DIY oh, DIY parties. You're brilliant at this. Listen, um, so but, seven months of winter in Minnesota, <laughs> LA. <laughs> I'm All right. here. No if you would like more instructions <laughs> for Ken's tea party and tablescapes, we can. Uh, you'll be able to get us on our website and our Pinterest page, which is pinterest.com forward slash home and family TV, at and also at kennethwingard.com and look for Michelle Bachman's new DIY. Pinterest page when uh, she goes home. It'll be available probably next week. Oh right? Yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Kim Douglas, what are you doing in the bedroom? It's a mess in there. Stop it. You know what, Christina? Breaking up is hard to do. And I'm going to show you how to get over a really bad breakup, okay? Oh. 